I'm Brandon Grant, Marketing Director here at Quiltworks. In this video, we're going to demonstrate how you can utilize peer reviews to collaborate with other reps in your company. Peer reviews are a great way to work with others to review documents before they're sent off to the client. Notes and suggestions can be added to any document by any user involved in the peer review. This is a great way to get an extra set of eyes on any document before it is delivered to your clients. So let's get started. We're going to start with an existing document. We believe that this document is ready for delivery to our client. Before we do that, we want to go ahead and invite our colleagues or team members to review the document to ensure accuracy before we send it out to the customer. To start the process for peer review, click on Deliver. And you want to select your cover pages, literature files, layouts, spec sheets, links tab. You want to go ahead and still build the document as if you were going to deliver it to the customer. We want the peer review to go through the entire process that includes building the PDF. So if you have a cover page, select your cover page, select your layout, literature files if needed, spec sheets if needed, and anything from the links tab is needed. Once you've made your selections, go ahead and click on the right hand side, submit for peer review. The Submit Peer Review button will open up a new email window. This is where you can request a peer review from your peers. You have the option of typing in a specific email address, or if you click on the address book to the right, you can select from a list of Quartworks users in your installation. Simply highlight them or hold control on your keyboard to select more than one, and then you can add them to the to list, hit OK, and their emails and contact information will be populated in the to field here. The rest of the text in this email is fully customizable. Under your Tools, Customize Email Templates window, you can actually change the default text. If you're using Quote Valet for peer reviews, you'll have the option to review via Quote Valet. If you're not using Quote Valet, you will be able to access this document via Quoteworks. One thing to keep in mind though is that only one user at a time will be able to review the document if you're not using Quote Valet. If you're using Quote Valet, you'll be able to have multiple users review the document at a single point. After reviewing the email, when you're ready to send it to your colleagues so that they can review your document, simply click on the send button and that will send out the email to your colleagues. So we'll first show you how you can use Quote Valet to access your peer reviews. So if we click on our Quote Valet tab, we can see our view peer review page and this will prompt you to log in to Quilt Valley. So in our case, we're going to go ahead and log in. And this will bring us into peer review mode. So I've logged in as Brandon and then I can scroll down and I can see a list of the line items on the document. And if I scroll down further, I can actually post notes about this particular document. Every user that has been shared or invited to review this particular document will have that peer review link that they can click on and review the document in Quote Valley. This will allow them to make suggestions perhaps about a description of an item, maybe a picture, maybe they want to add more information or more details of specific, of about a specific item. They can also check pricing, make sure everything looks correct, make sure any optional items are actually truly optional, not required. And then once they see something that maybe needs adjustment, they can actually post a comment here in the notes. So for example, the installation charge in options should not be optional. And we'll click add review. And when you post a review, it'll post a review under your name here and it will send an email to the sales rep notifying them that a review has been posted. The sales rep can then go back into the document, refresh any activity, and they can actually see that someone posted a peer review post. And then they can go into the document, they say, oh, you're right, this installation charge should not be optional. Let's go ahead and move it up into our services and let's adjust its line attribute, saying it's not optional, and hit OK. And then we'll save our work and then we can re-upload it to Quote Valley. So if we go back to deliver and we resubmit for peer review, this will reopen that send email window so we can send it with any changes to our peers. And if we open up that page in our web browser, we can simply refresh it and we'll see the change 
and we'll know that it has now been fixed. So using peer reviews via Quilt Valet is very, very easy to do. Now if you wanted to use peer reviews without Quilt Valet, you can do that as well. For instance, if we go back into our document here, you're going to simply click on deliver and then you would choose the submit or resubmit for peer review. And this will open up the send email window. And really the only difference between using Quilt Valley and not using Quilt Valley for peer reviews is you'll see that you won't have the Quilt Valley link. You'll actually have a link to the document. This link, when you send it to anyone in the to field, will allow them to open this particular document directly in their QuiltWorks installation. The only limitation of using peer review this way, you'll only be able to have one user at a time in that particular document. So once you send the email to your peers and they open it in QuoteWorks, so they're brought to the document and you click on the notes tab, you can use the dynamic notes setting to provide updates and options of items that might need to be changed or adjusted. Uh, so if the installation charge is not the correct price, you can put this note in here and then by clicking on the insert user timestamp, it'll actually put your username and date and timestamp and you can put your notes here about this particular document. You can also utilize the highlighting functionality on the document on our grid toolbar to notify the rep that they will need to adjust or at least kind of look at a particular item in the document and then you can even leave a note for them on the dynamic notes for that as well. For those that may be out of the office or don't have access to email, uh, you always do have access to the peer review page via your Quote Valet Insight. So if you're using Quote Valley Insight, you can also access it by clicking on Launch Quote Valley Insight. Go to your dashboard and then Peer Reviews and it'll show you a list of peer reviews that you have been invited to or are part of in Quote Valley Insight and you can actually access the peer review page directly from Quote Valley Insight as well. So utilizing peer reviews is going to be very easy in your installation and it's something that can be used via Quilt Valley or just by using the notes tab and some highlighting functionality. Additionally, there are a couple settings that you want to make sure you have engaged in order to use peer review most effectively. The first setting is for Quilt Valley users. If you want to utilize peer reviews in Quilt Valley, you want to click on Tools, Options, and then click on your Tenant Account tab, and then click on Quilt Valley Setup. And you just want to make sure you have the checkbox for use for peer reviews is enabled. It is set by default, but if for some reason it had been turned off, you can come here and turn it back on. So you just want to make that setting. The other setting that you'll want to use, and this would be for anyone, whether you're using Quilt Valet or not, is under your installation tab in the tools options menu. You want to check this checkbox for check for in use documents. This option ensures only one user can get into the specific document at a time. This is very important because this would essentially with this unchecked would allow users to save over each other's work if they had more than one version of the document open at a time. So this will ensure that doesn't happen. This should be set by default, but just go into your tools options installation tab to check for this specific feature and ensure is that it is set. Once you've made those changes, simply click OK to save those changes. You may need to close QuoteWorks and restart it for those changes to take effect. Peer reviews are a great way to ensure accuracy and clarity in your document, so utilize them to collaborate with other users in your department or company to ensure transparency and accuracy when delivering your documents to your clients. If you have any additional questions, feel free to contact us directly by email or phone, or you can see the peer review chapter in the QuoteWorks help file. Thanks for watching.